Good morning! Happy New Year to you all! Let's hope that 2021 is going to be better than 2020. I know you haven't woken up in an alternate universe. It's not the effect of too much alcohol. It is Friday, it is New Year's Day, and as 2020 was such a bizarre year and nothing normal seemed to happen, I thought I'd start the 2021 off. Excuse me, I'll put you back. Um, 2021 off in a different way. I will be back to posting landscape photography vlogs on Sundays, but not this Sunday, it'll be next Sunday. I thought we'd have a rest this weekend. Due partly to the fact that we're now in a bigger lockdown than we were, South Yorkshire's still in tier three. My parents, where I'm spending an awful lot of time at the moment for various reasons, are in tier four. So the options to travel are greatly reduced. Hopefully come January the 13th, which I think is the next review, we'll get back to some more normality. Maybe the restrictions will be lifted slightly, but I want to try and spread out the few vlogs that I've got ready done. I have got two from the Lincolnshire coast, which were done before tier four was invented. They were done when we were at tier three and because I'm staying at my parents, I'm working from there and I'm working from home as well, then I can go to the Lincolnshire coast. It's quite close to where they live. I've got one from another section of coast which was also in tier three when we were allowed to travel. I haven't been staying away, I've just been travelling at sunrise. Thankfully sunrise is a really sensible time at the moment, although the days are drawing out slightly. This isn't really a review of the year, it's just a sort of little chat. I have put together a few of my favourite images from the year. And it seems like absolutely eons ago that I was in Scotland, which was the beginning of 2020. A good few days in Glencoe. We'd heard rumours about this virus, but nothing major. Came home from Glencoe. I think the following month I went over to the Isle of Man to see my friends. I got there just after one storm. We had a storm when I was out there and I managed to sneak back onto the mainland before the third storm hit. I know one of them was storm Kiara or Kara, something like that. They all have bizarre names. But I had a fabulous time over there. The Isle of Man is a superb place. If you ever get the chance to go, go. If you don't like bikes, that's fine. There is so much more to the Isle of Man than motorcycle racing, although it is a big part of its history. Came up from the Isle of Man and on, I believe it was the 26th of March, the company said, go home. We are going to pay you to sit on your backside for six weeks because Boris had just locked the country down. We weren't allowed to go out for anything other than daily exercise. We couldn't travel. The van stood for, I think, most of the six weeks apart from when I needed to go out to do my shopping. All the modern technology we had came into play, which was really handy. We had Zoom, I've got WhatsApp chats, I've got a, a little Alexa device that's set up so I could video call my parents. Fabulous. and. As most people did, I redecorated the house, I tidied the garden up, I cleaned the windows. By the end of six weeks, I was tearing my hair out. I've never felt the need to get back to work so badly in all my life. <laughs> I went back on, I believe it was around about the 2nd or 3rd of May. And we carried on and restrictions were gradually eased. And I managed to get a weekend away up in, on, oh, where was I? the lower side of Scotland, the right hand side going up um, Belhaven, not Belhaven, can't remember where I was now, but I think I managed to get up there. And restrictions got lifted, it was great. Um, we're still social distancing and wearing masks and all that sort of thing. I was due to go to Canada in October and instead of going to Canada, I ended up in the Cairngorms and I got home from Cairngorms just before the November lockdown. 
Well, that was good timing. That's kept me going through the November lockdown. Christmas with people that we love and hold dear but that didn't really happen because we all got locked down again and we're back there again fingers crossed 2021 improves it can't get much worse surely we're we gonna get plagues of locusts or something so I wanted to say thank you very much for all the support you've given me over this last 12 months and indeed since I started my channel I still have no concept of why people watch it's something I do to remind myself of where I've been. A photo is great. I, as you know, I love photography. But to be able to capture my feelings and my emotions on video so that I can watch it back and go, oh, God, yeah, I remember that. I was really annoyed that day or I was absolutely ecstatic because I was at the coast. And I'm frustrated because I'm trying out woodland photography. And then we had fog and all that amazing stuff at local um, locations to me. I discovered Wyming Brook, which is a phenomenal place. Trying not to overdo that one. The plan this morning for New Year's Day had been to head out into the Peak District. Well, the bits of the Peak District I wanted to go to are in Derbyshire. And Derbyshire's in Tier 4, so that kind of knocked that one on the head. I can still travel to parts of the Peak District, so I'm going to have to do some investigation on what's there. And see whether I can sneak out. I can't even go to Bowl Hill Quarry, because that's on the Derbyshire side of the border. I can go to the other side, which I think is Mother Cap. I've been there before, but I'm overly impressed. But I'm sure I shall find something to photograph. I know there's a couple of locations local to me, which if we end up in a national lockdown, as we were at the beginning of the year, then they'll probably come into play. I don't feel particularly comfortable going out in my local area with my camera bag. It makes me very nervous. I don't feel safe and secure. So I'm going to try and put that one off for as long as possible. Whilst ever we can travel in tier three, I shall be traveling, but only within my area. So yes, as I say, thank you very much for watching and all your support and your comments. I do read everyone and I'm giving very slack just lately in responding. I will catch up, I promise. And for the next two stroke three weeks, you're going to see some seascape photography. I get a little bit giddy in one of them. One of them cost me a camera. So I got that excited. I didn't notice the wind was starting to gust. And it blew the tripod over. And my new vlogging camera went nose first into the sand and broke. Hey ho. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? <laughs> to all of you who can't get out of your houses at all because you're at risk. You're in the high vulnerability group. My heart goes out to you. I hope you've got people keeping an eye on you and making sure you've got food and at least some company, some contact with other people. If we've learned anything from this year, it is to be as kind as we possibly can to everybody because we just don't know what's around the corner. So thank you very much. Roll on 2021. And I will see you next Sunday, not this coming Sunday. We're having a break the following Sunday and I'll be at the seaside. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye bye.